Hello everybody, ASMR Sports here. Alright, I think this video is probably going to get some attention because um, this is a new product. Sometimes people search for videos um, of breaks of this product, so I'll explain that the reason why I'm whispering is because this is an ASMR channel, and that means that people watch this to relax and um, um, listen to relaxing sounds. So, long story short, you can look up ASMR on Wikipedia and find out more. Um, all right, well, thanks to all the uh, regular listeners of this channel. Um, appreciate everybody who was able to drop by the live chat the other night. Um, that was a lot of fun. As I mentioned uh, in the announcement in the comments for that, I was expecting some uh, Bowman Chrome in here this week, and I just got it today, actually. It showed up uh, much earlier than usual. Um, and, uh, yeah, I've got a lot of this stuff. So, some will be putting up for sale on my e-commerce site shortly. Um, I don't know if I'll be creative enough to do like a break of this, but I might do like a live stream on YouTube of me opening more of this. I'm not sure. I'm also probably going to open a couple of these boxes. I have one hobby and one HTA box. Um, I might open two, you know, one of each on my other channel, the Sports Card Show, which I've been wanting to do some more videos for for a while. So, yeah, suffice it to say, there should be a fair amount of content coming based on this product from yours truly. So yeah, I've been, um, these have too many boxes, these hobby boxes. I've been kind of reading up on blowout forms for, like, reactions to this product. There have been a number of, you know, large, like, case breaks that have gone on and some smaller breaks that people have watched, and it seems like people are pretty down on this product. Um, it definitely has, like, a pretty minimal number of, like, top guys in it. Um, and people are also saying that these HTA boxes, which are one of my favorite products, are, um, not containing a lot of color parallels this year. So that is a bummer. Especially because I got four cases of those things. <laughs> um, because last year, the HTA the HTA um, boxes were by far the superior product compared to Hobby. And I got one case, and I did pretty well with it, all things considered. Um, but, uh, yeah, maybe this year the opposite is true. And the Hobby is... Um, it's going to be more uh, nice Fernando Tatis Jr., nice Adley Rutschman, uh, 2-1 two to one stat tracker, Luis Garcia, and Samov. Yeah, so Samov is a pretty good prospect. Um, but that's a second or third Bowman card of his. Um, so, yeah, uh, you know, you, you never know what which configuration is going to be the best. And I'm not sure Tops necessarily thinks a whole lot about which they want to be the best. By the way, I got an email from a longtime viewer asking me to kind of take my time with pack openings because I do kind of rush. And a lot of people sort of like the relaxing sounds of opening up packaging. So I'm going to try to, since I don't really have a ton of cards to open on this video, I'm going to try to take my time a little bit. Looks like we got our first color. So yeah, you know what's interesting about Bowman Chrome this year is the design is actually a bit different than regular Bowman. This little like left side kind of diagonal lines thing is not what um, you see in the regular Bowman cards. Usually the Bowman Chromes are just Chrome versions of Bowman cards. Little Vladdy. Well, 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 Stephen Strasberg. Um, I see some slight scratches on there. Boy, I'm like super paranoid now about every card that I pull out of new cards, new, like, packs and boxes, just because I've been gr 
reading a lot lately.
came out, people were like trash talking it. Not excited, um, you know, it just sort of kind of goes up in value if you keep it unopened. Pretty much like any product seems to do that these days. So, you know, with this stuff, people don't want to buy it. I'll just probably hang on to it for, you know, a year, two years, maybe three years. And then if, uh, you know, one of the guys in this set that has an auto goes gangbusters, you know, the value will go up. days. 
I used to um, be very deliberate, like, and I was opening, you know, wax packs, like a lot of older stuff, which has a nice sound, the kind of wax wrapper. Nice Anthony Volp. Um, Tristan Casas is, I think he's like the number one or two um, Red Sox prospect right now. I got a few autographs of him from different products. Um, 
I think that's his first name. I know it's his last name. And um, the Super Fractor Auto was pulled earlier today, I think, for that guy. So that's kind of a, a bummer for everyone in opening, hoping to get the best card out of the set in here.
yeah, keep your eyes peeled for a bit more content on Bomo Chrome and um, uh, also on the uh, Sports Card Show channel. All right, thanks so much. Catch y'all later. Bye.